Today we celebrate two special days. This is the Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and Memorial Day. Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you. Hear the prayers of your servants and guide us in the way of justice. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God be with you. We begin by pausing for a moment of quiet as we reflect upon God's loving mercy and the call, the commission that comes to each of us to share that love and that mercy with others. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done, what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God of mercies, whose only begotten Son as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant that we may, with her loving help, be more faithful day by day, and exulting in the holiness of her children, may be drawn into her embrace with all the families of the peoples of the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up into heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey away. When the apostles entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Lord loves the city founded on holy mountains, loves the gates of Zion more than any dwelling in Jacob. Glorious are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, but of Zion, it must be said, they all were born right here. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Most High confirms this. The Lord notes in the register of the people's this one was born here. So all sing in their festive dance, 
within you is my true home. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Alleluia, alleluia. O happy virgin, you gave birth to the Lord. O blessed mother of the church, you warm our hearts with the spirit of your son, Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took Mary into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Maybe one of the things uh, we can do as we begin uh, today, this uh, Memorial Day, is uh, a little remembering of the difference between uh, Memorial Day and Armed Forces Day and Veterans Day, because we often get, get them confused, and I hear. Um, and then we, uh, we have this, this kind of oddity of wishing people a happy Memorial Day. Well. That seems kind of strange, doesn't it? Because Memorial Day is a day when we remember all those who have given their lives in defense of country and freedom. Armed Forces Day, the day that we celebrate all those who are currently uh, serving in the military, uh, and including reservists and National Guard members. And then, of course, uh, Veterans Day, when we celebrate all those who have formerly served in uniform. And so, a little helpful distinction of those three days that we celebrate. So maybe uh, instead of a um, happy Memorial Day, we say a blessed Memorial Day, since we're remembering the blessed dead. Okay, enough of that. Let's turn to Mary, who's uh, who we celebrate today under her title of Mary of the Ch Mother of the Church. We hear uh, Jesus share his mother with, the, with John and the other disciples. And in fact, uh, they gather uh, together with Mary on that Pentecost day. And so Jesus is sharing Mary and her love and her, the care that she has always shown him uh, with others, with his disciples, and, and by way of them, inviting the disciples to share that love um, themselves with other people. And so this day that we celebrate Mary, Mother of the Church, we remember the call, the commission that is ours to share the love, the compassion, the patience, the understanding that uh, Mary showed to Jesus and to the disciples uh, with other people. And so, as is the case in most feast days, it's also a feast uh, for us, a feast of our call to love and share uh, like Mary shared. Let us stand and give voice to our prayers. On this uh, Memorial Day, we pray for all those who have given their lives in the defense of freedom. We pray. We hold in our prayers uh, those who in our world today suffer violence, the violence of war. We pray. On this day that we commemorate Mary, Mother of the Church, we 
pray for the Holy Spirit's guidance that we too may show love and mercy to others as Mary showed it to Jesus and to the disciples, we pray. We pause now to bring to mind the other prayers that we bring with us today. For these we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. O gracious and holy God, hear our prayers. We pray these in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame in the charity, with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her many, and with her be united more closely to others. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us a share in his riches. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of the cross, brought his peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to those who follow him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O oh God, indeed you are holy. You are the source of all holiness. And we ask you to send your spirit upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Once again, he gave you thanks, and giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with all saints, with St. Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Join in our voices, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we might be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another some sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
pray. Grant us, O Lord, that we who have been strengthened at the table of word and sacrament with the blessed Mary as our patron and guide may reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christian and follow whatever accords with it through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and may God's blessing come upon us and remain with us always the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace of God. I don't think so.